here I am back with another process video and this layout is called Dina Pup and I'm using my October Hip Kit Club which I absolutely love. I mean hip kits are or the kits from Hip Kit Club come with a lot of fun things to use so if you haven't checked them out make sure you do. I'll post a link in the description box below. So I grabbed a piece of white texture cardstock from my stash and decided just to create a band of pattern paper as well as washi tape there to the left hand side. And that stripe pattern paper is from the Maggie Holmes Gather collection, which I think I might go ahead and just buy that entire collection. It is absolutely beautiful. And I'm glad that we got some in this particular kit. And I think that washi tape is from Illustrated Faith, but I can't be too certain. And it looks like it's black and white, but it's actually navy blue and white. Now these are photos of me and my little one and on Labor Day we went to IHOP. She was out of school and we decided to have a mommy and baby day and we went to have breakfast and she brought along her little stuffed puppy that she is named Dina. And Dina is actually a marionette <laughs> but she, Corinne took off the strings and just wanted to use her as a regular stuffed animal toy. And it's not like this kid needs any more stuffed animals. She has like a ton of them and I probably should purge them <laughs> but it's kind of hard to get rid of them. Um, it's hard to get rid of a lot of things like her stuffed animals and books and stuff but Dina Pup has joined the crew here in the Calvin household. Now on that day, Corinne wanted to take a selfie, but of course we also had to take a selfie with Dina and then I had to take a picture of Dina as well. So there's Dina, the little stuffed pup who is blue and white and has red bows. I think Corinne may have put those bows on her. I'm not quite sure, but anywho. So I am mounting the photos on some of the pattern paper that came with the kit. The pink pattern paper is from Crate Paper and then the um, light blue and the navy blue paper, that's actually one sheet. Um, that I believe was exclusive to HipKit. Now I'm going to adhere all the photos down on the background and decided to do that horizontally. So I've got that vertical stripe band going down on the left hand side and I've got this band of photos. Now here's a tip, um, you may already do this, but if you're curious about how to get more photos on your layouts, particularly if you're a 12 by 12 scrapper, or maybe you don't do double pages, resizing your photos is a great option. And so all I used was my, um, Let's see, what app do I use? I think it's Pick Stitch app. And um, I resized my photos to three by four, those two that are there on the left, and kept my larger one at four by six so I can get all those th photos on one page without it being too photo heavy. Alrighty, so now I'm going to embellish a bit. So I've got these really awesome wood veneer pieces. Those are from We Are Memory Keepers. And then that chipboard camera, no, it's not chipboard, it's a cardstock camera. Uh, die cut camera rather. I think that is from Matt or Dear Lizzie, I believe. And now I'm grabbing these little arrows and that is from Simple Stories, their posh collection, just to add a bit of interest and some direction. And then at the bottom, that little pup is also from Simple Stories as well. Now I don't have animals and I usually don't scrapbook about anything animal <laughs> related. And so normally that little chipboard piece would not have been used. So I'm glad that I used it on this layout because um, of course the subject is about the little stuffed puppy. Now I'm creating the title using some pink font um, stickers from HipKit, those are exclusive, and then the silver, not silver, the gold ones are from Thickers, and that font is called Cozy. So creating just a small little cluster there at the bottom using that little pup, and now I'm looking for a couple other things to embellish, so I grab these hearts. Now in a minute, I'm going to discover that these chipboard pieces actually have adhesive, they have sticky back on them anyway. Um, I just forget to pull off the paper. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and adhere them down and then discover that I didn't need to do this step here in just a moment. So I added three hearts, one there at the top um, cluster and then of course the side and then at the bottom. And now I'm trying, oh see that's where I discover I didn't need to do that. Oh well. So I go back and pull them up and take that paper off and just adhere them straight to the background. Which is, I'm glad I discovered that because I don't want those falling off over time. So there we go, good to go. And now um, I step away for a bit and I type up my journaling. And the journaling reads, this week you introduced Dina the marionette pup to your stuffed animal crew while eating, or eating brunch and taking selfies at IHOP, you asked if we could take a selfie with Dina. At first I was a bit hesitant, but then I thought, why not? Let's do this. These moments will one day be snapshots of your quirky childhood interest and I want to savor every moment. And lastly, to finish up the layout, I am adding some enamel dots, and those are from the Simple Stories Posh Collection as well. So one there to the top and to the side, and then at the bottom, I'm just trying to work out what colors I want to use. 
And there we go, finished layout. Some photos are coming up. Make sure you check out the Victoria Marie blog for more information. And thanks so much for watching.